Have you ever been working under your car and you look over at your jack stand and wonder what would happen if you accidentally bumped the handle with a tool? I was reading about jack stand failures the other night and apparently that's exactly what happened to this dude named Mike. I figure it's okay to use his name since his story is all over the internet already. But apparently what happened, uh, this dude was working under his Porsche when a jack stand just suddenly let go and the car came down crushing his face and it pinned him under the car. So this dude, he lifts the car up off of his face and yells for help. Sounds like a pretty burly guy. Anyway, you can look this story up online. Uh, it's pretty easy to find. But according to Mike, he thinks that he bumped the handle of his jack stand, <laughs> causing it to let go. And that got me thinking, shit, is that really possible? Now, before you say, of course it is or of course it isn't, Keep in mind that jack stands have a built-in safety for this. For this thing to let go under the car, it actually has to lift up a little. You see that? So you have to lift the weight of the car with your arm for this to let go. And that's not all. The paw of the jack stand is only connected to the handle with this little pin. And that pin is designed to shear when that happens, right? So, so you lift up on this handle, you've got a thousand pounds on this jack stand, right? That paw is not going to lift a thousand pounds before it shears that pin. At least that's the idea. And then the handle disconnects from the paw, but the jack stand stays put. That's the idea, at least. But now what makes this story interesting is Mike was working under a Porsche 914. Well, that's only like a 2,000 pound car. So if you had two of these jack stands supporting one end of that car, you know, they might only have, what, 500 pounds each of downward pressure on the jack stand. So the real question is, is 500 pounds enough to make that pin shear? And that's what I'm going to try to find out. So on the surface, this doesn't seem like a very hard thing to test. With the jack stand and the press here, if we put it under load, we can see that it locks that bar down solid. It's not going anywhere. So you might be thinking, as I was, well this is a pretty simple test. We'll just put a little bit of pressure on it with the press here and see if we can get it to release. What we have to remember is that the jack stand actually has to lift up the weight force that's exerted on it in order to release the ratchet bar. And this is a hydraulic cylinder. So the jack stand would have to compress the piston of this hydraulic cylinder in order to release it. As you know, hydraulic fluid is not compressible. So when the jack stand tries to compress this hydraulic cylinder, it's actually going to take many, many thousands of pounds to even get this cylinder to compress just a little bit. So we're going to have to come up with a different way. But that's okay, because I think I have a solution. This is a short body hydraulic ram. And you can buy these at Harbor Freight for about 50 bucks. But instead of running hydraulic fluid in this, I'm going to run air. So the plan is to run an air hose into this and have it feeding into the air compressor tank, which is 4.6 gallons. Air, unlike hydraulic fluid, is very compressible. And we have a high volume of air in the air compressor, which means that the force to compress this cylinder will be relatively constant. Now, we just need to figure out what we need to pressurize it to. Now, I already took this apart and measured the diameter of the cylinder. If you want to watch that process, you can watch my video on building a hydraulic force gauge. I'll try to link it in the description or annotate it in this video. And the diameter of the piston is 2.36 inches. So 
So let's see, so we have 2.36 inches, move that by 2, move that by 1.18, that's r squared times pi. Okay, so this is the area of our cylinder. Now we want to, what do we want to do? Ah, we want to see what pressure we need to run it at. So, 4.37. So let's say that uh, we want 500 pounds. Damn it. So let's say we want 500 pounds. We'll divide that by 4.37. 114 PSI. Easy. We can do that. Here goes nothing. Nice. All right, so as you can see, this thing is rock solid. But we should be able to compress it. This is kind of scary. And it felt like it took pretty, uh, pretty consistent pressure to do that. Okay, so this might look a little weird. So if you're wondering what's going on here, we've got the pneumatic cylinder in line with the hydraulic cylinder in the press. Now, basically the idea is we have to put 500 pounds of upward pressure on this system to compress the pneumatic cylinder. Meaning that when we try to release the jack stand, it'll have to exert 500 pounds of upward pressure in order to compress the cylinder and release the ratchet bar. You can see we have the cylinder and it's fed directly into the air compressor. And we're right at 115 PSI. All right, it's the moment of truth. I had to make some minor adjustments to compensate for the length that the pneumatic added to the system, but we're ready to rock. So I have the press coming down on the jack stand to the point where it's just beginning to compress the pneumatic cylinder. So we should have very close to 500 pounds on the jack stand right now. And we're going to see if we can get it to fail. It totally failed. Okay, I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna move the camera back so you guys can see the entire system. Wow, I am totally surprised. I really wasn't expecting that. I really wasn't expecting that. All right, so I have the jack stand under pressure again. And I feel like it's important that I mention that even with five pounds of pressure on this thing, you can't, I don't think you're gonna be bumping this 
with your elbow to get it to release. I mean, I'll try it. I'll try to lift on it as much as I can. Yeah, I can't get it to release. I mean, maybe, maybe if you hit it with a tool, That pin still has a shear. Alright guys, well thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed my little experiment. Uh, I gotta say that I'm a little surprised by the results. I really thought we'd be shearing pins today. I didn't think that we would see a jack stand failure. Uh, it's hard to really call it a failure though. If you saw how much pressure it took, I had to use a pry bar to get it to fail. Let me know what you think about my experimental setup. Did you think it was flawed in some kind of way? Let me know in the comments below. The jury's still out on how much pressure it'll actually take to shear that pin. I'm sure it can be calculated, but what's the fun in that? Regardless of the results today, I think that we can all agree that you definitely don't want to try any of this while you're under a vehicle. Never take a pry bar to the handle of your jack stand. Never take a hammer to it like I did today. I tried to do it in a controlled setting to avoid injury. It'd be an asinine thing to do while you're under a vehicle. Alright guys, if you want to see more videos like this, you can let me know by hitting that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Stay safe.